Welcome everyone to another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing video. This time we are going to go ahead and unbox the Yu-Gi's Legendary Dex. This product has been by this point fairly old now, approximately what four to five years ago or so when it came out around there. Uh, but it was super epic when it came out and it's a product that hasn't aged entirely bad. There are a few amounts of valuables in here. So what I'm going to do is, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and open it up just so I can show this to you. The product on average is approximately anywhere from $30 to $40. So on average I'm seeing it around, around $35 now or so. Um, it, ha it hasn't really gone up that much compared to when it first came out. Which is very interesting because a lot of these products typically do actually go up in value a fair amount. But yeah, not this one. And it's been, what, almost five years now I think or so. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, this one plus the Legendary Dex 2 box. Also looks um, very, actually very similar to this one, but you'll see that unboxing um, soon enough. But all right, let's go ahead and open this up here because, oh gosh, it's gonna be pretty epic. Ready, ready for this? Bam, all right, so. Three decks in here plus some variant cards here in the middle. Now the variants, uh, from what I know, honestly, they are not that valuable. There's a lot of cards in here that are obviously not valuable, but there are some that are quite valuable indeed. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see what we got here, all right? So now that you saw the three decks, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the side, but basically Exodia, Valkyrian, and uh, I was gonna say Dark Magician of Chaos. That's Magician of Black Chaos, yeah. All right, so here we go. Very first one, Electromagnetic Turtle. When this card first came out, it was getting a lot of talk, because it was basically like, if you look at this, during your opponent's battle phase, you can banish this card from the graveyard and the battle phase. Um, so just by that effect, it essentially would make it a better Necro Gardener, but just a light variant of it. But it does have only a once per duel effect, so that's the part that is different from Necro Gardener, you know. But obviously by the time this card came out, it's not like Necro Gardener was that relevant anymore, you know, because it wasn't. But yeah, so that's that one. Dark Reno, okay, this is the only card from the variant, I believe, that is actually worth something. Here, it's worth about a dollar. Uh, by itself, so Dark Renewal, there we go, as you can see, pretty cool, right? Okay, Black Illusion, all right. I love this, love this kind of foil, look at that. Super awesome. Okay. Set Sail for the Kingdom, let's look at the effect. I'm just kidding, okay. Yeah, so this one, plus um, Duelist Kingdom, as you can see, and then this other Duelist Kingdom one, Wait, they give you two of the same one? Really? Oh gosh. And the three Egyptian gods are all these variants here. So that you, you get the three of these now. The three of these, um, actually, I take that back because these three Egyptian gods are actually worth about a dollar each as well. Um, and TCG player, that's the value that they're currently at. So, pretty cool. I'm going to put the Exodia, or did I just say Exodia? I am getting ahead of myself. Sorry, I was looking at the Exodia card over there that I put aside and yeah. Getting confused. The Egyptian gods I meant. And then here's the token, the Yugi token, alright, cool. So I'm gonna just put all these right here, I guess, you know. Actually, I'm gonna put that on this side. I'm gonna put Electromagnetic Turtle there. Dark Renewal, worth about a dollar. I'm actually gonna separate this one. Um, just to kind of, you know, that there's a reason why, but I'll show you all the valuables a little bit later. But here's these three once again. You get one of these, and then you get two of these Duelist uh, Kingdom cards. So, pretty cool, you know. So Dark Renewal, I'm going to separate over here because it actually is worth something. Okay, now we're going to go over to these decks here. So these decks are so epic, seriously. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Exodia one on the left side, alright? Here we go, so the Exodia one. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to have to go the um, the other route, I guess, and just pop it open. Um, the other alternative way, I suppose. This also does work, yes it does. Okay. So here we go. Exodia, the Forbidden One. This card is worth about 250 in terms of value. Then you have the pieces. Here's right leg of the Forbidden One, and these are all ultras as you can see. Left leg of the Forbidden One, right arm of the Forbidden One, and left arm of the Forbidden One. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and place these Exodia pieces right here in the middle, because why not, you know? Everyone always does this when they do unboxings, I've noticed. So you know what? I'll join in too. 
something like that, that's fine. You know, that's close enough. Yeah, so let's keep going. Black Luster Soldier. Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. This one is worth about a dollar. It is a, yeah, it has a one dollar value. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it over, right over here. Uh, so the regular one is not worth anything. Dark Magician. Dark Magician Girl. Gaia the Fierce Knight. Summon Skull. Curse of Dragon. Catapult Turtle. Celtic Guardian. Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. Number one, Feral Imp, Beaver Warrior, Griffor, Mystical Elf, Giant Soldier of Stone, Mammoth Graveyard, and Karibo. So as you can see, the Duelist Kingdom deck, it's all the old schools. All the old school ones for sure. I mean, Dark Condition Girl was never in that one, but you know what I mean, you know? There, it's close enough. Monster Reborn, Swords Revealing Light, Mystic Box, Brain Control, Monster Recovery, Spell Shattering Arrow, Horn of the Unicorn, Mystical Moon, Attack the Moon, Burning Land, <laughs> Multiply, Detonate, Makyu the Magical Mist, Polymerization, Black Luster Ritual, and these are all the spells. Okay, and then for traps, let's see what we got here. We got a Mirror Force, Magical Hats, the Eye of Truth, and Shift. And then they do give you a Fusion Gaia the Dragon Champion as well. Um, and then just this little Speed Duels promotion. I'm going to go ahead and set this one aside because this is not actually a card. Okay, but yeah, so this is the entire Duelist Kingdom uh, deck. I'm just going to put these. Uh, moving on to this one magician of black chaos all right let's take a look okay there we go i found it for this one i believe but it kind of ripped off once again sort of got it okay that's close enough i think all right i'm just gonna go ahead and pull it open okay link evolution if you haven't um played this game you should definitely get it um or at least watch a let's play or some videos of it to see i have actually done a let's play of this um pretty cool game pretty sweet Go ahead and put that away. Okay. So we have the Magician of Black Chaos. This card is actually worth about a dollar on its own as well. And then we have the Dark Magician of Chaos, also worth about a dollar on its own. So they're both valuable. I mean, at least compared to all the other stuff, it's not really worth anything. I'm gonna put these two over here. Silent Magician level eight. The Dark Magician, a different variant this time, as you can see. Gold Sarcophagus, it's an ultra rare gold Sark, wow. Gendora, the Dragon of Destruction. Actually, I'm gonna play the, put the foils. Let's put them like over here somewhere, you know, just so you can kind of see all of them. There we go. Okay, Silent Magician level four, Silent Swordsman level seven, Silent Swordsman level five, and Silent Swordsman level three. Dark Magician Girl, that's also not the right one, I believe. I don't think that's the valuable one. Buster Blader, The Tricky, Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, King's Knight. All right, we got the trio. Speaking of trios, Red Gadget, or Green Gadget, sorry, Red Gadget, Yellow Gadget, another trio. And then Skill Dark Magician, Skill White Magician, that's a duo right there. That's for Dark Magician and Buster Blader, respectively. Blockman, Marshmallow, Karibo. Those are all the monsters. I'm just going to put these down here for now. Let's move on to the spells. Let's see what we got. Another monster reborn. Swords revealing light. Card of sanctity. Polymerization. Dark magic attack. Magicians unite. Dedication through light and darkness. Dark or black magic ritual. That's for a uh, magician of black chaos. In case you didn't know. Uh, tricky spell four. Emblem of dragon destroyer and Marshmallow Glasses. Those are spells, and then lastly, trap cards, we get another Mirror Force, so many Mirror Forces here. Um, Magician Circle, Shattered Axe, Stronghold of Moving Fortress, and Miracle Restoring, and then lastly, you do get a Dark Paladin as well. Not bad, right? Pretty cool card. Okay, so that's it for the second one here, and that's already two decks down. We got another one to showcase. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all these and just stack them over here. All right, and here is the third and final one, Volcarion the Magna Warrior. All right, well, 
Where is it? It's right here. I do see it. Sometimes they're so hidden, you know, it's, it's like a little game in itself, you know. You gotta find that little thing, you know, so you can open that thing a lot, a lot easier. That's a lot easier, like that, so. There we go. Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna start by just taking out this card at the bottom. This is another Duel Links promotion card, so that can just go away. But the actual cards, here we go. We have a Valkyrion, the Magna Warrior. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Who's next? Dark Magician. This is the most valuable card in the entire set. Worth about four to five dollars on its own. This is a very valuable Dark Magician because it's very rare to find this type. This artwork of Dark Magician. I'm gonna put it right over here. And also, the Dark Magician Girl. This is the valuable one, worth about two bucks or so from what I last saw. Uh, yeah, so that one's also cool. It's more of a rare Dark Magician to find, or Dark Magician Girl to find. Alright, let's see, we got Swords of Revealing Light and Mirror Force and Ultra Rares. Both of them are actually Ultra Rares. Pretty cool. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and place them, I guess right over here, sure. There we go. Look at all these foils. It's crazy. Okay. Buster Blader. Archfiend of Gilfer. Jack's Knight. Queen's Knight. King's Knight again. It's a repeat, okay. Burfamet. Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts, Alpha the Magnet Warrior, Beta the Magnet Warrior, and Gamma the Magnet Warrior. That's all three right there. Big Shield Gardner, and Karibo. That's the monsters. All right. Let's see what spells are. Oh my gosh, another Monster Reborn. Dark Magic Curtain, Thousand Knives, Magic Formula, Magical Dimension, Diffusion Wave Motion, Double Spell, Ectoplasmer, Soul Taker, Pot of Greed. Funny enough, this card is actually worth about 250. The Pot of Greed specifically from here. I'm not, I'm not even kidding you. I'm not. Um, okay, then we got Card Destruction, Exchange, Monster Recovery, Polymerization, Diffusion, and Multiply. Alright, so that's all the spells. And lastly, Magical Hats, Magic Cylinder, Spellbinding Circle, Light Force Sword, Chain Destruction, Soul Rope, Tragedy. And the very last one is another fusion, Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast. Okay, so that is it for all the cards. That was a lot of cards, honestly. And three decks, it's pretty damn cool, I will say. I'm just going to put these right over here. So here's what you got as a quick recap. These are all the foils. Minus the few, the few others that I put over here, I'm just going to go ahead and separate them really quick. The other foils um, would be all these right here. But in terms of value, the only two commons that I was that I know that are actually worth something are Black Luster Soldier on board at the beginning and Pot of Greed. Uh, this one's worth about two fifty, honestly, and this one's about a dollar. And then from these. Uh, the Dark Magician Girl of this artwork is about $2.50. The Dark Magician for this artwork is about $4.50 to $5. Each of these Dark Magician of Chaos variants are um, worth about a dollar each, and Dark Renewal is worth about a dollar. From all the foils here, the only ones worth something are the three um, gods, about a dollar each, and then the Exodia pieces. The head is worth about $2.50, and each of the pieces are worth about $1. So if you do the math in terms of how much value you get back from here, we can quickly see this. This is basically 250 plus one that's 350. Um, four, five, 650. It's about nine right there plus another. Let's just say five on a good day. You know, let's go. Let's round up. Uh, so it's about 14 dollars right there. 15, 16, 17, um, and then from all these 18, 19, 20, 21, uh, 23. About 2350. Maybe a dollar in bulk or a little bit more than a dollar, you know, we can round it up to maybe 25. The product costs about $35 now and you're getting about $25 worth of value back um, of cards. So it's not a bad, you know, loss because you also are gaining, you know, aside from all these cool foils and the epicness of the pack, you're getting about this many commons as well, as you can see. So that's a lot of cards and it's pretty damn good. Obviously, of course, I'm talking about the value, like in terms of if you were to resell all these cards back that are valuable, but obviously most people are not going to because you buy products to keep the card, to use them, you know, but yeah. So that's the product. It's actually a really cool, really, really cool one. Let me just show you again the uh, 
The box is actually very uh, durable. I would say it's great to actually keep stuff in there. It is pretty damn strong. You can actually use them both together. You know, remove this uh, plastic piece and then use it as a little bit of a storage device. But yeah, so um, as always, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I recommend more videos that I should be doing for unboxings and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye everyone. Have a great and of course a fantastic day.